Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Adam the Farmer King. In this episode you're going to see us move car shops. We also will be getting some skips for our customers today that we needed to get done. Obviously you can see um, we are very very busy on the farm at the moment moving shops and things like that. The reason why we're moving is because the place that we are at now is just not pulling in enough business. Uh, it's just not in the right location. So we thought we needed to move and also it's not so big. Uh, we've got everything that we do in this business. We do car moving, we do car repos, we also do skip hires uh, and everything else that you normally do as a farmer basically. So anything that needs to be done, harvesting, cultivating, plowing, seeding, fertilizing, anything you do, name it, we'll do it. We'll also cut down trees and things like that. So stay along with us. This is a little bit about what we do um, on this channel for you guys. So if you'd like to see all of that, then obviously hit the like button and hit that subscribe button and I will keep producing the videos coming. Just as we're coming up to the farm now, we're actually just dropping off another skip for one of our customers. This was a week late, so we have actually knocked down the customer for a bit of money, just as a little bit of a a thank you for waiting so long this farmer is actually another farmer we do do work for him all the time but he will ask for skips uh, because he actually does car maintenance and things like that so we will actually fix some of our cars if we need him to um, he's actually one of our mechanics on the farm so when anything's broken down he'll come out to the farm and he will fix it for me and he doesn't normally charge me so this is going to be completely a free chip a free skip basically and all the car bits that he you know he takes away and this is probably what will go in the skip so we'll also I'll earn more money out of it from scrap metal and things like that so you know i can't really um lose on that basically so i'm going to leave you alone for now um and i'm going to let you watch the next couple of clips that we've got coming up um i think is another skip and then when we get down to the actual car shop i'll show you um where our new car shop is and we'll have a nice little tour and why I moved and we'll go into that so hang around and uh, watch out for the next bit So here we are, we're actually going to go to the new uh, car shop already because 
I figured, what's the point in taking the skip to the old car shop where I'm going to have to move it again and drag it all out and move it, everything twice. I might as well just go and take them both up there now uh, and get it out of the way, basically. So this is what we're doing now. We're going to the other car shop. Um, I've got to remember which way I've gone, um, which way it is, because obviously it's a new car shop to me. Um, I know exactly whereabouts, and but I, I need to find out other uh, shortcuts and things because when I'm doing skips uh, if I've got a big busy day ahead of me I need to know exactly how to get there quicker so I can get the next skip out and the next skip out and the next skip out um, because obviously two skips will not fit on the truck that we've actually got so I have to go and drop one off come and pick one back up and then go and drop that one off so as you can see we've got all new brand new gates um, as the shop I didn't buy these um, I didn't actually buy it with this I had to buy I had to obviously get a contractor in to come and do it soon we're gonna have the whole thing boxed off and whole thing fenced off but to be honest with you, you see some of the cliffs they physically can't get in even if they wanted to um, so we're actually quite lucky we may save on a few um, fences and, and gates um, hopefully that's the plan anyway so we're at back as you can see we're now back at the old car shop um, like you can see it's not so big I need to move that potato harvester uh, because that's got to come with us but I need to find a contractor that will come and do it because to be honest with you it's a big big truck it's a big big job and I don't know who I'm going to get to come and do it because I don't think I've actually got a trailer or a truck that will actually fit on there well, that will actually fit on there basically so yeah we're going to find someone to come and move that soon um but someone's going to come down and tear all the buildings down for me um i'm not going to keep them i'm just going to sell them as scrap or just sell them as materials if someone wants to buy them off of me i'm more than happy for them to come and do it so as you can see i may just keep this mechanics bay um i'm going to park a few cars in here because these cars that you can see at the moment they've been repoed they need to be had looked over and some of them actually got oil leaks so i need to get them fixed before i can resell them so i thought i've called my buddy um the one that i spoke about earlier that i just dropped the skip off to and he said he'll come and have a look at them this is why it's so good you know we, we work so well together because he'll now actually come down and look at them for me and then later on i'll probably go and pick that skip skip up when it's completely full um so yeah it, it works quite well so this is what i'm doing now i'm actually just moving some of the cars that i know have, they've got issues over to the mechanics bay that's why they wasn't out on the forecourt uh because they needed to be fixed or maintained or something there's no point putting something on a forecourt that's got an oil leak and it being all over the floor because straight away the customer's going to see it's got an oil leak so i thought i might as well just keep this mechanics bay here because to be honest with you it's quite a small lot um, and it would be good just to have like one Pacific Mechanics Bay that I can drive them off to um, and I won't have to have them in my you know forecourt because I don't want customers walking by and seeing tatty cars and things like as you can see like my actual display where all my cars my nice cars are, are literally just in the next room um, so customers do actually come into here and do see that some of the cars that are in here um, and obviously I've got to explain why they're here and, and you know why what's wrong with them basically um, and it gets a little bit embarrassing when you do stuff like that because you don't really want customers to see things like that you just want to see why they're so good and obviously make a sale of course we do so this is what we're doing at the moment we're just moving some of the broken cars or the cars that have got a problem or the cars that have been repoed I just want them looked over before I resell them this is what we're doing we're just literally pulling them all in there the mechanic will come over he will look over them fix anything that he needs to fix and then they'll go straight back over to the new shop straight on the forecourt and sell obviously um for a little bit less price obviously the second hand but these cars they've only been repoed um they haven't actually been bought back to us and we've actually bought them back from the customer they've been repoed so the customer hasn't paid the money for the rest of it so it's on finance they haven't paid the rest of the money off so obviously our customer our, our company will then go and repo them and we'll bring them back and obviously we'll do them up and then we'll resell them for obviously a letter profit but to be honest with you we've kind of lost money doing it this way because we get the cars back yeah fair enough the cars are coming back but the things then we've got to pay we've then got to obviously sell them at a lower rate which it, it you know it hurts the, co the the company and to be honest with you you know as i was doing most of this i had a few phone calls that told me that i had some more cars that still haven't paid and you know they've had their final warning it's time to go and get them so we should be going and getting them soon as well hopefully 
we'll go and get them in the next few days and obviously do exactly the same thing put them in the mechanics bay and obviously get the mechanic to have a look over them and then resell them hopefully we're trying to get as much profit as we can um, for these cars so if it's just that they've only had a few miles on them we can explain to the customer they're only a few weeks old they were sold but the customer didn't pay for them um, and they basically they've just come back into our hands and hopefully they'll agree that it is exactly the same price some people like to pay a little bit less because it's been owned once um, some people are a little bit funny like that but then the other people don't really care um, so you know um, as you can see here I'm lifting one of the wheels up because I know there's something wrong with the back wheel I felt it as I was going around so I'm going to get the mechanic to um, have a look at that and that's one of the ways that I can do it if I lift it up in the air he'll know that there's something wrong with it so you know we can do it that way which is brilliant so yeah but I'll, uh, I'll stop with the boredom now for you guys I'll let you carry on watching some of the um, the clips that are coming up and uh, hopefully you enjoy don't worry I will be back and we'll explain everything that's going on throughout the video so here we go Right, so it's come to the time where I am going to show you our old place to our new place. Um, I'm just going to our old place now to go and pick up the trailer. Um, there's a few little bits there, but I have not realised that we decided, my, me and my business partner in the end, decided to just to get rid of everything from here and completely sell the land. Um, I wanted to keep it but to be honest with you it's non profitable there's nothing going to happen there apart from mechanic work so we might as well just get rid of it and just build a brand new mechanics bay at our new shop and just get everything done um, there and instead of keep coming back and forth but I thought it was a good idea but he didn't think it was a good idea and at the end of the day you've got to listen to him you know he's the one that was telling you the right options and you know he's bringing in some of the money as well so we kind of got to listen to both ends um, I just thought that it was a good idea but quite clearly not uh, we still haven't managed to find somebody to come and move the uh, potato harvester yet so hopefully I can either find a trailer to go and do that or I can go and get somebody hopefully to come and pick it up and take it over to the new shop because I do need it I could drive it over there but I don't want to add any more hours onto it so there we go but here we go sit back and I, when we get to the new shop I will show you everything um, that's happening there So as you see when we come in, brand new gates, brand new fences, everything there that we need. Um, so hopefully, like I said, we're not going to need to fence anything else off because there's going to be big cliffs and things like that, which is a really good idea. I'm so sorry it's in a big, big mess at the moment, but as you can see, the main cars are on the forecourt. So this is what we're going to be selling at the moment. The things at the back, we are going to try and get in somewhere as much as we can. Um, because those are now also for sale because the mechanic those are the ones that the mechanic returned apart from a few um, that we've obviously we've just physically not got room for so you'll see them in a minute they're parked right outside of the, of the garage right at the back um, and I'll park them in the garage in a minute but at the moment as you can see this is my new house um, I do apologize for the state that it's in at the moment um, just for the heads up but it is in a massive state at the moment. As you can see, the reason why the house is there so we can see everything um, during night time. Anything, anyone tries to steal any cars will be there straight away. Uh, but like I said, the house is a bit of a mess, so 
kind of bear with me with that one we've just moved in uh, this is our new garage here so this is where we're going to be parking our car at the end of the night um, you know you've got an entrance and an exit so that's brilliant we'll probably park the car in in on the side um, which is you know it's fantastic nice little room just for one car perfect you know um, everything that you need and as you can see this place is absolutely massive we're going to be able to do everything we want here you know if we want to put a little field there and earn some money off of crops we can which is another really good thing about having such a big open area like this um, and also this is going to be a really good place to put a mechanics bay skips all that kind of thing everything is going to be here you know our potato harvester right at the back um, and then when potato season comes in we can start obviously harvesting and some seeding some potatoes and getting ready for all that but at the moment we're getting ready to obviously get some profits on some of these cars we're physically not actually open today tomorrow is our national open day um, we're going to open the shop for the first time the brand new shop there's going to be people coming down and things like that and buying some new cars from us so it's going to be fantastic it's going to be brilliant um, so yeah the, I'm just gonna park some of these cars into this garage now because I want to get them um, in there look at this new shed that we've just got it's brilliant I think it's five doors um, to get as many cars as in there as we can obviously we're gonna be buying some more cars and getting some more cars from the dealerships and things like that soon so we need a big area because when we get full down at that car um, park we can just park all the new cars in here ready for when we sell out of the old cars you know we can just park everything in here um, which is brilliant it's gonna be fantastic and obviously during the winter and things like that we're not gonna have so many cars on the car for uh, on the car park because obviously it's gonna be winter we don't want that many cars out there we'll have a few but all the custom cars and things like that they'll all come into the shop into a warmed housed shed um, you know for car for um you know things like that because we just physically don't want them out you know in the rain all the time and them getting rusty and things i'd rather them come in and look a hundred percent when a customer comes to view them so that's going to be the whole idea of this kind of shed and the shed that you're going to see in a second uh you can also see my office and things like that which is where i'll be um when we are actually open i'll be in the office uh filling in paperwork and doing all the things that normal business owners would do um because obviously i haven't had any time to do any of that um i've still got invoices to give to customers from skips and things like that um i've still got a pick up on a few that we haven't actually even delivered yet um but i know they're in the back of the diary to do straight away but we just physically haven't had time to do it um so we're going to show you our new um car shop this is going to be the winter car shop this is where everyone's going to be able to see new cars and things some of the custom cars they're not out in the forecourt because obviously i just don't have room for them so i've left them in here if people want it, want one or they sell out down there they can come and look this is my office obviously my laptop and everything else is in there this is also um a stock room that we're going to have we're going to have all new lights and things in there like that um you know petrol oil everything that you need to obviously keep your cars going um, some cars are going to go in there as well some nice new cars that's uh, coming soon we haven't obviously got those yet so um, I'll keep you posted on that but yeah this is pretty much our brand new shop it's so so big so much potential in this place I'm so excited to show you what's going to come in the next couple of weeks um, you know we're not just going to be selling cars here we're going to be selling trucks vans um, farming equipment things like that so you can come down you can literally see everything that you need um, also we've just set up a big big plan with John um, John with John um, so if you don't know who John is John is a massive car dealer um, and he sells all our cars to us and things like that um, and also you know we, we set up things with farm play you know farming dealerships as well like Fen and things like that and John Deere and all them people um, are coming down to see everything um, when it's open basically and they're going to start marking out where they're going to put all their farming trucks and their tractors and their trailers and everything else that John Deere and Fent and all those people kind of do they're going to see where they want to put stuff and then we're going to put it there basically um, that's going to be a big big day when we do go down because we've actually got to go and collect them personally from their dealership um, so that's going to be big big you know exciting and things like that so um yeah, so um, 
we've got to go and pick that skip up uh, from our mechanic because he told me it's completely full. He wants another one as well. I don't know why he wants another one because I only thought it was only scrap metal. Um, so we're going to go and pick this one up and then see what the issue is. And obviously, if he needs a new one, we're going to get him another one as well. But like I said, as you can kind of see, I've made this one more of like a priority at the moment because I've got quite a lot out of him lately and I kind of wanted to give him something back. I didn't want to charge him or anything. He only said it wasn't that big a uh, big of a job and he needs quite a lot of skips and but now he, yeah like I said now he's saying he needs a lot of skips and I'm like why does he need a lot of skips um, so we're just pulling in now we're just gonna see what the issue is and what what he's actually trying to get away basically because it might be the case that I might need to just bring a bigger skip if it's only a few more bits um, but I don't know what it is like he didn't tell me on the phone what it is so we're just gonna see what it is now we're just pulling in um, just put that down just gonna pick that up what is that is that seeds? That's seeds. Why is he throwing away seeds? When I come in, there was a lot of seeds all over the ground. Yeah, it's definitely seeds. There was loads of seeds. Why? Don't tell me he's trying to get rid of all of these seeds. Why are you trying... There's, there's got to be at least 20 pallets here of seeds. Okay, guys, I need to find out why he wants to get rid of these. I have no clue why he wants to get rid of these. Um, I've just come in just to see exactly what it was and to go and pick it up and obviously go and bring him a new one. I just don't have a clue why he needs to get rid of all these. Um, maybe it's because he's not planting now, or I don't know. Uh, maybe he wants me to just move them somewhere. I don't know, but he didn't tell me. He just, well, he did. He just said get rid of it. I'm not going to get rid of it guys, I'm going to, you know, there's a lot of stuff there, I'm, I'm going to go and take this back to my shop, drop it off, I've got another skip waiting um, next to my dealership, um, because obviously I knew I was going to go and bring another one down, so I thought I might as well just get another truck ready, um, so I'm going to go and take this one up to my dealership, park it out of the way, I'll ring him, see what he wants to do with it. If he wants to get rid of it, then I'll just keep it and I'll use it for myself um, because obviously I've got a lot of fields coming up that I need to start planting soon as well, like potatoes. So, to be honest with you, it's going to be a win. If I get to keep this, I won't charge him anything because I'll keep all of the seeds. Um, but he didn't tell me it was that big of a job, so I am a little bit annoyed with him about that because... If I knew it was all that, I would have just come down with my big trailer and I would have just picked it all up in my massive trailer. Um, and then just do it like that. So I may I may charge him um, for the skips, but a lower rate. But I won't tell him about, obviously, I'm keeping the seed because obviously that would be a little bit unfair. But you've got to think of it like a business perspective, you know. Um, he doesn't work for us. You know, we help him out and he helps us out. Um, you know, he does a bit of mechanics now and then. So it's going to be hard to... Have them, so I'm gonna have to park them a little bit out of the way of the, you know, the sheds and things. So I might park it over here. Hopefully, you won't won't see it too much. Um, well, that's the plan anyway. So we'll leave it here. I just got to adjust that. Um, yeah, we'll leave it here and we'll go in. Um, we'll go and get that sorted. I just can't believe he's throwing away all the all these seeds. It's unreal. So it's absolutely mad. But yeah, so um. I'm gonna we're gonna go and get the other truck now and we're gonna go and take that down to him um, hopefully when I go and pick the next one up if there's seeds in there again then I will say hey what's going on why are you throwing away all these seeds this is unreal this is unnecessary um, but yeah so let's go and see um, what we can do but I'm gonna leave you with this guys um, do remember if you do like the video please like the video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more um, there was massive massive product projects coming up soon um, I'm gonna take you along the journey as we're doing it but I hope you do enjoy all our videos that we do post please comment if you'd like to see anything else um, on things that I'm thinking about um, bringing in how to do things um, on Farmer Simulator and things like that. If it is something that you'll be interested in then obviously please leave a comment for me um, and I can obviously bring that into my next video for you guys um, and if there's anything that I've missed or anything that you would like to see more of then please obviously again please leave that comment. Please like and subscribe. The channel is only just starting to hit off a little bit. We need a few more subscribers to get really going with this. Uh, like I said when I get some more subscribers I will obviously start 
start to upload more re more often um, but at the moment I think I've only got a few subscribers so there's not really point in me uh, doing a, a video every single week so um, but yeah if you do want to see more then obviously like share this video get it all subscribed get as many subscribers for my channel as much as you can and I will obviously start uploading some more uh, videos for you um, but yeah so cheers guys thanks for watching and hope you have a great day thanks guys